All right, it is week 10 of the NFL season, and if you need some quick cash, this guy might be able to help you. Out. That's right. John's here with our tiny, tiny little sports betting expert, the latest <laughs> installment of Child's Play. All right, guys, we got back on our feet last week. We went 2 and 1. We're now 9 and 9 going into the second half of the season, ready to make some cash. First game, Jets at the Raiders. These are great days in Las Vegas, guys. You got the Formula <laughs> One race coming up. Uh -huh. Bravo Con was last week. Kyle Richards and now she's getting divorced. <laughs> also, and perhaps most importantly, Josh McDaniels was fired. Now, I don't know what McDaniels was doing inside the building, but man, does it seem like they're happy he's gone. You know it's bad when complete strangers can just tell the vibes were bad from the outside. Check out what this referee said to Raiders receiver Devontae Adams when he went to a basketball game after the Raiders beat the Giants last week. <laughs> Random referees from other sports. Now, check out the vibes in the locker room after that win over the Giants. This video was posted on the Raiders Twitter account. Guys are smoking cigars. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> They're mugging for the camera, giving out game balls like they won the Super Bowl. Uh, now, they did give uh, Antonio Pierce a game ball for his first uh, win as head coach, which I thought was pretty cool. But far be it for me to rain on the Raiders parade. However, we should mention... They beat a 2-7 and seven team that had to play Tommy DeVito at quarterback for most of the game. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. And yes, that was the name of Joe Pesci's character in Goodfellas, <laughs> which is funny because this scene from the movie pretty much sums oh, up the Giants. Oh, that's <laughs> the worst scene ever. Oh. He's gone, and there was nothing we could do about it. <laughs> oh. What do you mean they whacked him? Uh, but this week, the Raiders are playing Zach Wilson and the Jets in the Sunday night game. Now, I know the network's... Uh, uh, we're struggling. I cannot confirm this, but I think this was what ended the actor strike last night. Because <laughs> the network execs looked and realized they had the Jets in back-to-back primetime games and were like, it can't get worse than this. <laughs> uh, the, they lost to the Chargers, by the way, in that game. Yesterday, a reporter asked why Wilson is still the starting quarterback for the Jets. That's a great question. Uh, Jets head coach Robert Sala said, and I quote, I got to plead the fifth on this one. <laughs> Not exactly a vote of confidence. Somehow the Jets are favored by one in Vegas. Here's the child's play. Okay, here we go. Raiders and Jets. Which one do you like? Mm. All right, come on, pick one. Come on, run them all day. Ooh, Ooh. Jets. Jets. Oh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the liberty of the Paw Patrol take, taking that bet there. So no, cute. Uh, game two, guys, this is Saints at the Vikings. I know I'm not supposed to root for one team over another, but I don't care. I'm telling you right now, I'm rooting for the Vikings in this one because of Josh Dobbs. The quarterback was traded from Cleveland to Arizona before the season started, just weeks before, and then was thrust into the starting lineup, and the Cardinals didn't even bother to stock his jersey in the team store. Then, oh, last okay. week, okay. same kid, last week he's traded to Minnesota, forced into action again, mm -hmm. and leads the Vikings to a come-from-behind win over Atlanta. He didn't even know his teammates' names, <laughs> much less the Vikings' playbook. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised because Dobbs graduated from the University of Tennessee with a 4.0 and a degree it. in aerospace yeah. engineering. Yeah, he does. He is officially my favorite football player. Yep. He's literally a rocket scientist. Yes, he so is. Wow. Picking up the playbook, not that hard for him. In fact, NASA congratulated him after that game in a tweet. Wow. <laughs> and they gave him the nickname, the Pastronaut. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a great story, guys, but Vegas doesn't care about your feelings. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Both in gambling and having lived there. The Vikings still are two and a half point underdogs at home against the Saints, and here's the child's play. Okay. Saints and Vikings, which one do you like? Liberty. Okay, Liberty's choosing the Vikings. Yay. <laughs> That's pretty funny, huh? 
tickled by that one. Uh -huh. All right, so, dang, so we're yeah. going with the underdog Vikings there. <laughs> Final game, the aforementioned New York Giants and Tommy DeVito taking on the Cowboys. Jerry Jones said he wants to win another Super Bowl before he goes to the big Whataburger in the sky, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Dak Prescott seems to struggle when time's running out. <laughs> It happened again last week. Yep. Dallas had a chance to win the game in the final seconds against the Eagles, but they botched it again. I don't know what it is, but something happens to the Cowboys late in games, and their offense, boom, turns into one of those infomercial actors that struggle to do literally anything. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is a metaphor for yep. their offense right there. But yep. as we've established, the Giants are terrible. So... The Cowboys are favored by 16 and a half mm -hmm. at home. Here's the child's play. All right, you ready? Got Liberty? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cowboys, Giants. Which one do you like? Oh, Liberty's making the pick? Ooh, Cowboys. <laughs> okay, so we're going with the Cowboys. To recap, we are taking the Giants, or Jets, excuse me, giving up one point. Then we are also taking Minnesota, getting the points. And we are taking the Cowboys laying 16 and a half points. Hmm. Hmm. We're nine and nine on the year, so yeah. coin flip at this yeah. point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. That was Chad's play. Good stuff. Stick around. We got more good day coming up on the other side of this break.